Ramping up post sneak peek weekend is of course sprites. We have a lot of math mech list for you guys throughout this week. The deck just tore through events. And of course, pack proves to us that punk still looks like a very viable deck post format. <laughs> 30% of you guys have not smashed the Evil Living Crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up. You guessed it. 100k ladder here. The first list we're going to be looking at here is none other than Sprite coming off of third place here. Which means that there were two other decks better than Sprite here for this event. Hmm. What does that tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe it's not quite as uh, crazy as people think it is. So I have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. Triple copies of Deep Sea Diva. One Doop Doop. Triple copies of Effect Veiler. Triple copies of Ghost Ogre. Holy lots of hand traps, man. Like, so much here. We have one Space Rock, one Ronin Toten. Triple copies of Sprite Blue. One Sprite Carrot. Triple Sprite Jet. Then we have one Sprite Red. Triple Swappy Froggies. One Cult by the Grave. Triple Cres... Or, yeah, Crusant Designator. I am glad to see that cross out here appears to be like one of the better carries for a deck like this because you know the big thing that we're like worried about right now is like hand trap central so to see that this deck has adapted you know the functionality for um having an anti-card like this very very good we also have triple copies of pot of prosperity one smashers triple copies of starter and triple copies of infinite and permanence here wrapping up your main deck down here in the extra deck we of course have two copies of sprite elf one good old Al Mirage, one Unicorn with one Hauk. Then we have one Totally Awesome, one Sky Calvary, one Onimaru the Soul Sweeper, two copies of Gigantic Sprite, one Downard, one Zeus, one Cat Chart. Uh, we have one Omega and one Desert Locust. Then we have triple copies of Dark Ruler Hadoken, one Harpy's Feather Duster, triple Lightning Storm, one Monster Reborn, triple Pointer of the Red Lotus, one Red Reboot, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here. Wrapping up your sprite deck, and I do really like the fact that you can bring this all together here and have a very, very viable deck in terms of development for the format. So good stuff. All right, next up here is Math Mech. Now, for those of you that don't know about Circular here, you're in for a sprite. It's in a Math Mech monster from your deck to the graveyard, except for Circular. So I'll just send this card from your hand, and you can only attack with one monster for the rest of this turn. Well, that's that's an easy condition. Sure, man. I, I don't even care about that. All right. And then if another Math Mech monster monsters normal special summon while well, you control this card, you have the Math Mech spell or trap card your deck to your hand. Huh. So we can search for equation or we can search for super factorial here to do the job that we wanted to do during the opponent's turn. Hmm. You know, there's a lot of key synergy and things here. But like I said, I've seen three Math Mech lists this week tear through people, and it's it's absolutely amazing. So we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring, triple copies of Didi Crow, two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, triple copies of Addition, triple copies of Circular, triple copies of Diameter, one copy of Multiplication, one Nobla, triple copies of Sigma, triple copies of Subtraction, two Parallel Exceed, one Called by the Grave, triple copies of Sinet Mining, triple copies of Hadoken, one Math Mech Equation, triple copies of Infinite Permanence, and two copies of Super Factorial. You know, we've seen that Super Factorial started going up in price massively, but man, oh man, like, this card is actually kind of the nuts right now for this deck. We also have one Unicorn, one Transco Talker, one Splash Mage, one Link Disciple with one Link Devotee, we have one Link Rebo, one IP with one Heatzel, one Cyber's Wicked, one Apo, and then we have two Laplossum and two Alembertian with one big final Sigma. Our side deck here is triple copies of Droplet, two copies of Lightning Storm, triple copies of Twin Twisters, triple copies of Anti-Spell Fragrance, triple copies of Dimensional Barrier, and one copy of Red Reboot here. Wrapping up, none other than really just the super sauce here. So, once again, I may or may not have underestimated the power of Mathmex in the current format here. Definitely interesting. Next up here is Punk's, or excuse me, Pax. First place, it was first place, right? Winning his uh, sneak peek event here. Showing us that once again, you know, the punk stuff definitely steps up here. And when the field spill ends up being pot agreed, I think the TCG is going to eat this crap up. Like, it's really, really good now. So, who would have guessed? All right, well, just, hey, want to draw some cards, kid? Sure. All right, like, it, it feels so crazy powerful. Let's see what this deck does. Jam Dragon Drive. So, we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy of Spring. 
triple copies of Effect Veiler. We have one copy of Wagon, triple copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, triple copies of everybody's favorite Gizmek, the big bad guy. We have one Madam Spider, triple copies of Space Rock, triple copies of Deer Note, triple copies of Foxy Tune, triple copies of Ogre Dance, triple copies of Xeomin, we have triple copies of Gamma, one Shinobi Necro, one copy of the Shirokatsai, one Driver, and then we have triple copies of Emergency Teleport, triple copies of the Punk Jam Extreme Session, and of course two Desires, triple Infinite Permanence, and one copy of the Nashatari Surprise. Target one set card your opponent controls, or if you control a Punk Monster, you can target one face card your opponent controls and send destroy it. Alright, so we've, uh, we're coming full circle here, in terms of like the crazy like abuse you can do with this. We have one Selene, one Lambda, one copy of Dark, one Hulk, one Axis Code with one Zombie Vampire, two copies of Unuko Punk Amazing Dragon, one Chang Ying with one Psyche and Punisher, the one dra Jam Dragon Drive, one Formula, one Chaos Ruler, one Baron, and the one copy of the Rising Carp. Our side deck here we have Triple Drone Lockbird, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Lightning Storm, Triple Anti Scam Fragrance, and Triple Copies of There Can Only Be One. Wrapping up your interesting. I. I, I do hope that this deck does stick around in terms of its development for this format here. Next up was Marin Cess. Now, as like a sub note for this video, there's been a lot of Marin Cess. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, I don't think a lot of people have still even taken time out of their day to learn how this deck plays. And it's really sad because when you look at like the development of the format and things here, you know, so many people are just, I guess, tossing this deck aside and they're like, eh you know, whatever, like, and then all of a sudden they play against Marincess, and they just straight lose out of left field to, like, th what this deck does, so, rogue strategy plus, I guess, people just not wanting to be educated by it, so triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring, triple copies of Effect Veiler, triple copies of Blue Tang, we have two copies of Pascalis, triple copies of the Seahorse, we have one Sleepy Maiden, triple copies of Spring Girl, triple copies of Nibiru, triple copies of Yo Book of Moon. I'm actually glad to see that this is getting some love here. We have one Call by the Grib, triple Sign Up Mining, two Battle Oceans. Oh my gosh, you love to see that. We have triple Marincess Dive, one Monster Reborn, two Pot of Desires, triple Living to Permanence, and one Marincess Wave. Then we have one Splash Mage, two Sea Angels, the one Marbled Rock, one Bubbled Reef, one copy of Coral Triangle, two copies of Coral Anemone, two Blue Slugs, one Agua Argonaut, one Totally Awesome, the one Kraken Spawn with one Stealth Kraken, and one Bahamut Shark. And then we have two Token Collectors, one Change of Heart, triple Cossack Cyclone, one Harvey's Feather Duster, triple Mistaken Arrest, two Regeki, and tripled copies of Dimensional Barrier here, wrapping up Marin says. I want to once again reemphasize this two Battle Ocean. Um, for more of a localized scene, I'd probably consider this. Maybe not for like higher tier events, where you're not gonna like need to see, you know, Battle Ocean, or they'd be worried about like the rogue players coming into your tournament and just ruining your day with like main deck cosmics or things that might like this be more adapted towards the localized meta. So that's things to consider for 500. And the last list we have here is Sword Soul, actually. I got quite a few Sword Soul lists out of this week. Nothing really particularly changed, you know, for Sword Soul here. But in like these locals that had people running around with Sprite. And, you know, these new tier decks to see that, you know, the old meta is still keeping up with what's going on here. I think that's an important thing to see in terms of, once again, metagame development. So we have triple copies of Astral Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of Effect Veiler, two copies of the Incredible Ecclesia, triple copies of Space Rock, we have triple copies of Mo Yi, two copies of Taie, triple copies of Long Yun. We have two copies of Ara Ara, triple copies of Ashuna. We have one Synthana, triple copies of Vishuda. Then we have two Forbidden Droplets, triple Heavenly Dragon Cycle. Two Desizes, triple copies of Sword Soul Emergence, triple Infinite Permanence, and one copy of Sword Soul Blackout. Extract down here, one Shaman, triple Monk, one Yazi, one Ching Ying, one Guingxing Long Yun, two Chi one Draco Berserker with one Chao Fang, two Boxia, one Baron, and then we have one Dragite. And then we have two DD Crows, triple Ghost Ogre, one Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, triple Anti Spell, one Red Reboot, and triple copies of Rivalry of the Warlords. Bam. Wrapping up your chunk 
of, well, a uh, new format sauce, ladies and gentlemen. you love to see it. So hopefully, as time goes on here, we'll begin to see some more interesting things here. If you guys had any success this weekend as well with anything, please feel free to send it to me on social media. And, well, I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Stay safe, all right? Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.